Right, what have I got today? Well, it's a large one, but it's a handy one. So, boosh, right, what have I got today? It's another thing from Engineer. If you remember my last scissors video, I did the PH 55s, here they are here. I've done quite a lot of cutting with this. I've done, let's have a think, clamshell wise, I've probably done nearly 50, 50 different clamshells with multiple cuts. And I've done this in 4K, let's have a close look. Still looks brand new. I mean, obviously there's dust and marks all over it, but the actual cutting surfaces still look exactly the same. It cuts exactly the same. That's the PH55 24C there, so engineer. Look, no difference here. I thought this can't last, this can't last. And I've been going through plastic after plastic after plastic and cables, still working absolutely brilliantly. So I was so happy with these um, and I use them sort of daily at work now. Now, when I someone, I was talking to someone online, I can't remember whether it was on Discord or whatever, and they said, oh, there's a bigger version than that because I find this absolutely fine. It's just fine. I would prefer them maybe a little bit bigger, but I did give these high marks. I've used them. That's comfortable for me and they're great. And they come with the sheath and it works. Boom, but there's a bigger version. This is the bigger version and it, it's not just bigger, it's slightly different. So the blades are different. So if you look on these ones, this has the micro serrations on one side. So there's no micro serrations on that side. It's a normal cutting blade as you would expect on a pair of scissors. And on this side, it's normal up to a point. And then you have sort of medium size, well, smallish to medium size serrations there. They call those micro serrations. Where on this one, they're even smaller serrations. So you can barely see them, you see, much smaller. So what that means is when you do a cut, it will, ser the, ser the serration function on this, act in a way to stop stuff slipping away. So when you do the bifurcation, if you have Kevlar or certain materials that kind of slide away, you can hold it in place and do that, obviously, or hold it at that end and that end and pull it down and things like that. But if you're doing rope and things like that, it just tends to get pushed away in normal scissors. You can do multiple cuts, of course, but on this one, it has micro serrations which should do that and then if that isn't working you have huge u-shaped gouges in there that almost looks like something off like a fishing anyway I'll get this out of the pack so that looks like something i would use in fishing so we'll open this now i have opened it and used it so i have tested it but i wanted to put it back so all that was keeping this on if i can find the mark down here there was a was it down there or up there? I cut there. Was it one staple, so dead easy to open. It's not. It's not one of these irritating clamshells. So, boosh, get rid of that. We're gonna have a quick look at this. So, engineer, and it's telling you this is the combination scissors, the PH fifty seven. These are called, they're calling this the Tetsuan, so strong arm in Japanese. That means uh, the other ones are also called strong arm. It's the style, not the actual model. The model has the pH number. So that last one was a pH 55. This one happens to be a pH 57. So you can see there, made in Japan, pH 57. So much larger. We'll compare them in a moment. And that's just telling you about it. Blah, 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 blah. U-shaped blade, yeah. So there's the U-shaped blade. So you can see He's, he, he's trying to cut like a three core there and it, it's keeping it in place by virtue of the fact that that will grip it. And the micro serrations, I would say are much smaller in this. Three mil thick blade, same as the other one. And where, what does that say in Japanese? I think that says stainless steel. Okay, it is stainless steel. Made in Japan, it's saying, right, you can use it for do two different things. That's trying to make you go to the website. And let's have a quick look at this before we look at it. That's just rabbiting on about how good it is. So it's telling you that it'll do a leather belt. Now, off the top of my head, I think the, has got them down here, hasn't it? If you understand Japanese, there's the limitations of that. So uh, if I remember rightly, it's something like, is it four mil? I think four leather belt, they are saying you can, you can do four mil rope. It'll do up to, it doesn't say there, but it'll say down below 10 mil. And you can do coaxial cable, copper braided flat wire, Kevlar and cotton insulated cord. Now bear in mind, um, you don't notice anywhere in here like the other one, it'll do CDs. The other one said it would do CDs. Now this one doesn't mention that. I'll probably do a, a, a versus uh, to see who can cut the best between these two models, because I think that's the question that's gonna come up. And there's your dimensions in millimeters there. And it's telling you ABS, yeah, because combo, and it's got a rubber, soft rubber on it, and stainless steel ABS, yeah. And blah, 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 and it's saying caution, uh, non-insulated, yeah, we know that. It's not like a VDE or anything like that. Right, get rid of that, this is boring, right. Here's the actual item itself. Let's get a nice close look at it here. So serrations small. Let's compare that to the serrations on the other one. I wanna get a nice comparative look here. So can you see the difference in sizes there? I can get that to focus. God, 
this is a bit annoying getting the focus well you can see there anyway big difference in the serration sizes so much smaller but I would say that's sometimes a good thing and I'll tell you why if I take a piece of cord for example here's a piece of cord so if I cut with the serrations on the PH55 here there, like that sometimes the serrations are apparent now see it's not apparent on the on this side but the side which had the serrations on you can see that you might not want that in a cut so in that regards if you take the bigger ones and they do the same thing bear in mind they have micro serrations all the way along so i'm not cheating here so there hardly apparent unless you look really see if i do that really closely i'm doing this in 4k the highest quality i can get away with you can see them but look at the size difference big difference there so they're there but less apparent so if that's something that irritates you you know that's something to bear in mind that might be more important to you so looking at them the, the usual high quality Japanese steel here stainless steel well finished there bolted through the middle there three mil thick blades nice and thick and then whacked in the middle there there's the engineer branding and what is that is that that's not a sticker that seems to be like maybe it's lasered on engraved PH 55 made in Japan right let's look at the difference in handles here so handle wise on the 55s it's all plastic quite a nice design on here much bigger look at the difference in size there I can I've got room to move there whereas here room is you know it's it's full up basically so much big difference there if I put them like that so you're all the way to there and they're, they're a little bit more comfortable this is plastic okay plastic all the way around and it has the anti-pinch feature so you have this crimp over on both sides so it's impossible to get anything caught in, unless you you know unless you do it like that like an idiot but nothing's going to get jammed in this had it as well if you look from the back it's got this crossover crimp here and it just means it prevents anything getting jammed i like that on a pair of scissors uh, I've, I've got certain multi-tools where i get jammed all the time and it annoys me and it stops me using those tools and on the inside hear the difference hard plastic and then that's like a nice soft rubber so let's do the thumbnail test so push that in there there's a little bit of an indent so it's quite soft but that feels quite durable and i don't see it coming off anywhere so i think they've done a decent job let's get a nice close look as i rotate that so pretty good so let's test this out i did plenty of tests on the other one i mean obviously the sheath is longer there quite nice it does have a drain hole at the bottom if you remember on this one it had a drain hole at the bottom on the 55 and then it also had drain holes at the side and said you know loads of drain holes i don't know if you need that if you're living in a swamp or whatever but that's absolutely fine for me boom and then it comes off nice and easily boom okay so let's do some cutting tests so cardboard yeah that's like going through paper that's just nothing let's try folding that over so let's fold it over a few times right so that they can see that, that you can count, you can sit and count the ply there okay so we'll try that so a normal pair of scissors this would be annoyance let's see what happens here yeah straight in i did i didn't even have to have to put any effort in that and it even finished the cut it went all the way down and finished the cut now it may have cheated a bit there because i went over a bit that had already been done so let's try that again yeah absolutely no bother straight through easy uh, that was very easy okay so on plastic Let's see what it's like on plastic. This is like clamshelly type material. Yeah, oh, straight through. That's like nothing. Yeah, absolutely straight through. Nothing. Easy. Okay, so I do have, there's some, I have some wire. And this has many cores in it. That to me looks like, I've, I've taken this off an old piece of machinery here, but that looks almost like a network cable. So you'd have your various cotton, uh, your carbon, is it? Or is it? No yeah it's it looks like a, a network cable and then you've got your copper inheads on them so multiple multiple wires so let's see what that looks like so yeah absolutely no problem straight through and i didn't even have to use the grip feature so look i'm going to do it one-handed so we'll put it in then we'll go one-handed so there's my other hand look it doesn't slip away it doesn't slip away it's straight through straight through boom, easy and then if you were having bother you could put it under this I mean, yeah, you can feel that, that, that oh yeah, that, that jabs in nicely. Okay, so boom, and then, wow, straight through. So again, easy. Let's try another cable. I do have, I've got a thicker one here, and this has loads of cables in it. So let's see, let's see what I can do with that. Right, let's have a go. 
yeah straight through easy no problem in fact let's do them all at the same time there so I've started off one-handed <laughs> easy straight through so extremely impressive I didn't even have to use the sort of catchment section at the top there so I do have a bit of rope there's some rope this is nylon this one let's see how it does with that let's try it on the micro serrations that's just nothing that's straight through I don't even need to take it up to this section yeah straight through nice perfect clean cut you can see there easy easy now have I got anything stronger the only thing I've got that stronger is bear with me a few seconds right I have this I do not think it'll get through this this is pure cardboard so let's see if it'll go through some of this wow it does it didn't go all the way but wow that's impressive so let's try again yeah so it's getting halfway through but look at the thickness of that that is pure thick cardboard listen so it's, it's not it's not corrugated like this it's thick so a normal pair of scissors wouldn't even dent that that's really impressive okay let's get all this rubbish out of the way right let's have a look at this so basically if you like these the 55s i think you'd like these i would probably use this for more general sort of general stuff whereas if i wanted to go harder i would do this because i know that this will go through cds i've tried it uh, as cds and dvds so that this has more apparent micro serrations but that doesn't bother me for the job i do and bear in mind this does have an added feature so see how this is slightly angled in it's not a blade look it doesn't cut so if i do that look it's not cutting me it, you, you couldn't you can't stab anyone or, or do anything like that but it is a package opener so if you have a piece of cardboard if you imagine you you, you, you take that out of its sheath but there straight through there no problem whatsoever that's actually straight through the cardboard so that's an added feature which you don't have on these uh, not that this is you know not that's something i use all the time i do at work but probably less in the house bigger bigger handles so nice and comfortable so let's think of the pros and cons of this one because this interview this review review is getting far too long it's supposed to be quick so made in japan decent good quality stainless steel nice finish on it nice and smooth serrations aren't too big so they're not going to leave a pattern on things when you maybe don't want that very comfortable handles compared to the other one not that i thought these were uncomfortable they're not and they work absolutely fine but i would say these are genuinely bigger and more comfortable i can imagine doing probably more work with this without getting a hot spot and a blister uh the price is still low on these i mean it was something like 15 uh, great british pounds for this and very less for these so it's next to nothing i've spent more on fiskers and um you know things like that wilkinson sword stuff so very very good the sheath comes with it so it's not going to get bashed around with your other tools i like that and it's good for a lot for a larger hand so i'm gonna have to give this a nine out of ten i think they've done a really really good job i might do a, a versus between these two but i think they're kind of for different purposes this is for probably carrying in your veto pack or something stick it in a sheath i have actually tried to carry this in my pocket and it worked i put it in jeans so i would have i'll put it in that way and then i'd have this sort of pointing towards the groin because i'm I'm right-handed and it doesn't get in the way where you think oh god that's sticking in my leg or it's uncomfortable and that was with a, a standard pair of jeans and that was absolutely fine these not so much i think that's far too big to do that you could stick it in your back pocket maybe temporarily but then you know you could have to, if you need to sit down and get in and out of machinery then that's going to be a problem isn't it so I'll do a versus at some point, but again, another a gr another great product by Engineer. Uh, you know, I think they're really underrated from speaking to people who like them. They say, yeah, they're really good stuff. And yeah, they really are good stuff. Well made, feels good fit and finish. I think they've done a good job. Right, if you've got any questions about these, stick them down below, but I'm going to give this a Trail Trek 9 out of 10. Well done, Engineer. Keep up the good work. Right, I'll let you get on with your day. Goodbye.